guys, it's Nancy, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Kim Kardashian Fragrance, KKW Fragrance, Crystal Gardenia Scent, or the Crystal Scent. So, I got these three. I got the Crystal Gardenia one. This is in the 30 milliliters. It's pretty big for, I don't know, it's a really good size. I recommend this size, and it's, uh, opens up like that. This is my favorite perfume in the entire world. I like, let me tell you guys, when I say these are my favorite perfumes in the entire world, I really mean that. Like, I really mean that. Kim Kardashian did an amazing job at making these perfect. The 30 milliliters is great because it lasts all day. You spray it a few times, the whole day it lasts. It lasts in your clothes for days. It's just so perfect. It lasts so long and it's a really good size. It's not too big, too small, whatever. I really love it. The packaging is amazing. Um, it's a crystal. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so easy to like take off, put back on, you hear the click. And it looks so fancy and it's just great quality. It's so pretty. It's so soft, smooth, and it looks really nice on your desk. So I love it. And you can stand it up like this and lean it against something. So it's so pretty. I love this. So I got the Crystal Gardenia and I got the Crystal Citrus. I think this is the citrus one. I don't think it's the rose one. It smells like both though. It smells like citrus and rose, but it's either the Crystal Rose or the Crystal Citrus. Uh, I don't know it might they look so similar on the website but I'm gonna describe it to you either one you get if you get the rose or the citrus they still smell amazing I got the three set one I don't think she has it on her website right now so it's really hard to determine which one this is but both probably smell amazing if anything I probably want to get both so and then the third one I got was OUD Ode or something. I don't really know how it's called, but this one also smells incredible. Incredible. I love these perfumes so much. So much. Let's start with the Crystal Gardenia. This is, I think, the main one Kim promotes because it's, it's the clear one and it's the one I think she first started, but this is the original, I think. I don't know how to describe it without saying just buy it, like literally just buy it. I'm not even advertising or sponsor, sponsoring or anything, but I don't know how to describe these smells. They smell so good. It doesn't smell like anything you would hate. It doesn't smell like, you know, like it doesn't smell like, oh, like it smells like I'm a grandma or it smells like I'm a little kid or it smells cheap or poor quality, it has none of that. It's really high quality, really rich smells. It's gorgeous. It smells like a gardenia, literally. It smells like the title of the, the name of the perfume. A gardenia, like you're on vacation, you're going to the spa. It's a beautiful day out and the sun is shining, there's butterflies. That is the smell I'm getting, the vibe. It's so pretty. It's so floral, flowers, pretty, bright, fun. Like if I smell this on someone, I would want to hug them immediately. That's, that's what this smells like. It smells like I want to give someone a hug. So whatever smell that is for you that makes you want to like hug someone, that's what this is. This is amazing. I love this. Two lips and just gorgeousness. I love it so much. It's perfect for going out during the day, during the night. It is more, I think, on the daytime perfume scent, but wow, Kim was made to make fragrances because these perfumes are absolutely amazing. I wear them all the time, and I 10 out of 10 would get this again and would recommend anybody and everyone to get this. Mainly, It's mainly for women though, so like the girls. So the second one, this is the Crystal Rose or Crystal Citrus, I don't know. It does smell 
like both, so it's hard to tell, but it does also smell more on the rosy side, so it might be the crystal rose, but it's really easy to open, easy to close. It's so pretty, it's pink. I love pink. Um, this smells similar to the gardenia one, the crystal gardenia, but it does have like a more deeper color, I mean, smell like instead of a gardenia light flower this kind of smells like more of a darker color flower like a rose something a bit heavier in smell but still light so it smells like roses fruit more more on the flower side though more on the flower side and it just smells like pink and rose flowers like red fun date night this is the perfect perfume for a date like if you're going on a date anywhere this is what you want to wear it's so pretty it smells like like if it just smells like a kissing perfume like you just want to like kiss someone or something it's so perfect roses like i just received a bunch of roses that's what this smells like so that's the best i can describe it but this is amazing too Again, my favorite is probably the Crystal Gardenia just because it's so bright and smell, like it just smells so flowery and gorgeous. But this is more like roses and dates, both so pretty though. The last one, this is the OUD Odd, I think, or Ode, whatever it's called. Um, this, Kim was reviewing this and she was like, it smells like the Middle East. And I was like, what is she talking about, the Middle East? What does that even mean? And then when I got it, I was like, oh yeah, it smells like the Middle East. It just smells like that sort of vibe. Like if you were in the Middle East, this is what this is what I would imagine it's supposed to smell like. It's a very interesting smell. So you might not like the smell. It's a very, um, on the website it says bright, but it's it's more on the heavier side of all the three perfumes that i'm reviewing this is definitely the heaviest smell it's got this heaviness to it but it's not too heavy where it's like uh it's very heavy but light it's got a perfect mixture of like that sweet salt you know what i mean like that perfect combination so you get a little bit of both it doesn't really smell like a flower to me but it smells like Middle East, like if you're going on a camel ride and you were in the desert and you were by the sand and there's you're in like a house and it's all like, instead of modern, it's more like wooden stuff. Like it's just like all wood, like you're at a fireplace roasting marshmallows, but like you're also at the desert and then you're also at the Caribbean and then I, I don't know, I'm just getting like Middle Eastern vibes. So that's kind of what I'm getting with this, but it's really good, I love it. So it's so hard to explain. It does have four stars instead of five stars on her website, which is why I said you might not love it if you're like, I don't think I like that smell, Nancy, but it's, it has an interesting smell. I would definitely wear it, it is, it's not my go-to. Like, the Crystal Gardenia is definitely my go-to because you could wear this anywhere. But, this is more of a, I'm going out to the store with friends, maybe we're going on a trip, but I wouldn't necessarily wear so much of it because it does have a really strong smell. And I don't know if I'd wear it on a date or a picnic. So there's not many options to wear this to, but it's still a fun perfume to have to... It's just such an interesting smell that I want, I want to wear it anyway. I wouldn't wear it to like specific things, but maybe if I was going to like a family reunion or like a friend's house, I'd wear this. So it does have a really interesting smell that I haven't smelled in any of her perfume before. And it's so interesting, but it's a good interesting that I, I want to keep buying it. So that's why I would recommend you buy this, just because it's it's unlike any other perfume that I've ever smelled or had before. And because it's so interesting, 
I feel like that's kind of special because it doesn't smell like all the other perfumes that you think would smell. You know like how some perfumes all smell the same, kind of like they all have that common thing. This is so different from the rest. So I think we should honor that. Yeah, it says Egyptian, like Egyptian musk. That's what it kind of smells like. That's what it says on the website. So that's it for this review. Um, these are all of them. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I would recommend every single one of them, honestly. If I had to pick a favorite, it would definitely be the Crystal Gardenia. And then the second favorite is the Crystal Rose or Citrus, but it might be the Rose. And then the OUD, Crystal OUD, so. I love these so much. I definitely recommend them. It also comes with little crystals. Kim sends like a small envelope with little crystals in it in the packaging. And it's so cute. I love them. The packaging is great. The boxes look amazing. And Kim is really, th these perfumes are just really high quality. They last all day. And I don't say that about any other perfume. This is the only perfume I know that lasts literally all day. It stays in your clothes, which I love. So, you know, sometimes when you smell your shirt at the end of the day, it smells so good. It's perfect. And it's really high quality stuff. Kim, if you're watching this, thank you so much for making these perfumes. Please make more like this and keep making these exact scents because I want to keep buying them all the time. I love them. And you really did an amazing job on these. For makeup, for mascara, I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara in black. I like this a lot. And then for lips, I'm wearing the Kylie High Gloss, and this is in Snatch. I really like this gloss too. That's it for this video. Those are my favorite perfumes ever. And uh, if you want to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, it's all at Nancy Arnstein. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!